about every 39 minutes, someone dies in a drunk driving crash. That's about 37 people every day, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And that's why Governor Glenn Youngkin is partnering with law enforcement, medical professionals and EMS for drive sober or get pulled over. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to see how the campaign is keeping drunk drivers off the road and to show you firsthand what law enforcement officers go through for a DUI stop. Drive sober or get pulled over. Look at you. You are oh. good to go. Senior Trooper awesome. Brett Southern has been with Virginia State Police for nearly 20 years and in that time has seen anywhere from five to 600 DUI arrests. Well, so follow the pen with just your eyes. Again. Monday, a new statewide campaign launched with the goal of keeping drunk drivers off of the roads. 130 law enforcement agencies are joining forces through Labor Day to have 95 sobriety checkpoints and other ways to keep you safe. I wanted to learn more about what a DUI stop may look like. So Southern walked me through some of the field sobriety tests. The catch? I was wearing goggles that made it seem like I had extremely high blood alcohol content. What? <laughs> oh God. While my tests were just for fun, when it comes to crashes caused by drunk drivers, it's no laughing matter. Multiple people, church groups, people that have known someone since they were a small child up till their adulthood. It affects, it ripples just like a wave does. So think about more than just yourself. Coming up on 10 News at 6, I'll introduce you to one man whose life was turned upside down by an alleged drunk driver and the trauma team that sees the impact firsthand. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.